Can you farm a million melons in a hundred Minecraft days? This is what a million looks like. Psych! Minecraft can't even load in a million melons at the same time. You'd have to farm all of these four times over. But I'd seen another guy do this before, so I wasn't too worried. In retrospect, that guy got a maximum of 50,000 during his 100 days. But I feel like a million's possible. So here we are, three minutes in, one melon down. Problem though, it's gonna take another 10 to 30 minutes to even produce one melon. But I have a plan to become Minecraft's greatest lawnmower. So you can turn seeds into bone mill, which can be used to make even more melons. Turning the melon into seeds, I was up to a whopping three melons. But we were six minutes in and already 3,000 melons behind schedule. Lawn mowing was already inefficient. I needed more bone meal and fat. And the only way to do that is to harvest the undead for their fertilizing capabilities. According to my calculations, three bones should be enough to grow all the melons. No, it's becoming night. I'm supposed to have harvested 2,500 melons by this point. You know what? I take it back. The night was a blessing in disguise. I see bone meal everywhere. Go, go, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, one day in, which means I should have harvested 10,000 melons by this point. We're at 14. <laughs> Gonna be honest, things were starting slower than expected, but all I could do was expand the melon farm. So that's what I did throughout the night until I realized the biggest setback was now bone meal. I solved this like any hero of ancient times by going to the underworld. Not for glory or honorable deeds though, strictly for fertilizer. We're looking for a soul sand valley. It has massive fossils that can be turned into bone meal. Aha, here we go. Okay, we've made it out, and it's still technically day one. How is that possible? Fun fact, when you start a Minecraft world, you start on day zero. Yeah, no, it's not like this is gonna throw off all of my calculations for the next hundred days. Aside from that miscalculation, things seem to be going well. I had enough bone meal. The only setback was getting dirt. This is where the Minecraft challenge starts to become fun, because most Minecraft players, they'd make a shovel to get dirt. Boring and inefficient. Creeper, come here. Please demonstrate. Yes, thank you for all of the dirt. I don't even care about the creeper hole. Okay, well, um, my shield's gone. Day three. Sure, blowing up creepers is nice, but it's only a short-term solution. I'm gonna need max and chance to get a million melons. So I went down into the caves to get obsidian, lapis, and diamonds. Diamonds, let's go. We can enchant now, but only at a pathetic level one. I needed level 30 enchanting, which meant loads of bookshelves. So I decided I'm gonna beat the game. <laughs> Not sure if it's the best way to get bookshelves, but I knew for a fact that there were massive libraries at the end of the game. So I killed some endermen and blazes like any good speed Runner. and was feeling pretty good until I realized we're an hour and a half in are you kidding me we're supposed to have 10,000 melons by this point we have 500 <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, though, because I'm genuinely having so much fun playing Minecraft in a different way. Most people, they make a stone pickaxe to start off. No, I made a hoe and got straight to farming melons. Everything I do in this world is to get that big one million melons, including this. Yes, I found the portal room pretty quick, but this isn't what I need. I need those bookshelves, and I'm not gonna lie, it took me a lot longer than I thought to find. All I could think was, I'm wasting so many melons right now. Aha! Alrighty, I got what I came for, I'm out of here. Except, instead of walking back, I used some of the lava in the portal room so I could travel through the nether. Granted, you're risking your life over a giant pool of lava, but everything is for the melons, man. I need to be as speedy as possible. Boom, bang. The efficiency was nice, and it doubled my melon output, but it still wasn't efficiency five. And what if my ax broke? What am I gonna do then? Get another 30 levels? No, I was gonna use villagers. See, villagers are pretty broken. They'll sell you diamond tools for only a handful of emeralds. And if you cure those villagers, they'll give you busted trades like diamond pickaxes for one emerald. Yo, it's a zombie villager. We, we gotta save him. We gotta save him. We gotta save him. Okay, we have we have a zombie villager captive. Cool. Knowing I couldn't convert my zombie villager yet, I chucked him in a hole and went on a search for a village. I'd already need at least two villagers, so I figured why not get it now. Conveniently, this village had a lava pool right in the middle of it, so I turned it into a nether portal because this is how we're gonna steal some of the villagers. I dug a tunnel back to home base, filled it with rails, and it was time to abduct a villager. We're going on an adventure. As soon as I had two villagers safely in the base, I threw them in the zombie pit. All righty, zombie is eating time. Now that they're zombies, I needed a single brown mushroom to cure them. I don't think they're that hard to get though, just in the nether, right? Holy crap. There they are. Yes, finally. The villagers were a great investment. I got a few diamond hoes, which was perfect 
but trying to get efficiency 5 was not perfect. I spent an entire day refreshing a villager's trade with no luck. Day 10 and still no efficiency 5. But finally, yes, that's so cheap. No. This place is such a mess, but it doesn't matter. We are here to farm melons, not have a clean world. Okay, watch this, guys. Watch this, watch this. We can also start getting some efficiency shovels. Yes, I can get dirt so fast. You see how small and puny this farm is? I'm about to do some serious work on it. So I spent like an hour placing dirt and melons to get to this point, and I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. But even though this looks really fast, it's only about 512 melons a minute. I have a sneaking suspicion I'll need to make an automatic melon farm to get a million melons. Practically all melon farms have some sort of piston. Pretend this is a piston. I don't have any redstone. They use a piston to push a melon to break a melon. Unfortunately, every piston needs a piece of iron. I have no iron, so I want to build an iron farm. First things first, I need 36 obsidian. I grabbed some redstone on my way out, got some wool for beds, sand for glass, and a little bit of wood. We're on day 16, and realistically, I think I can start building this iron farm. Thank you, Mind the Fab, for the design. While it's only taking 20 minutes to place the blocks, typically the most difficult part are the villagers. No! Stop! 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 Mm -mm. Stop! 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 Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Eventually, I got them in, and I believe if we put the zombie in now, the farm will work. Day 18. This way, right this way. Ha ha! The legendary name of Anne. Maybe an iron golem has spawned? Oh, I'm burning. Well, oh! Oh, you hear that? Oh, it's working! It's working! I don't know how I got pushed into the lava. However, the farm is still technically only working at 50% capacity. So, I grabbed another name tag for the second zombie, but as I made it back, tragedy. No! You killed and. Okay, well, thanks to the Iron Golem, I'm gonna have to wait an entire day to get another zombie up there. So, I want to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I want to give this farm a test run. The ultimate goal is to be able to finish a harvest and have the front fully grown. Three, two, one, go. All right, I've got good news and bad news. Bad news, farm still needs to be bigger. Good news, it's now nighttime so I can get some zombies in the containers. Straight through, oh boom, get trapped. On day 20, I put on the finishing touches and the farm was done. Whoa, whoa, oh, this is chaos. Dying was a pain, but it was well worth it. Remember our diagram from earlier? We need the iron for the piston. But we also need a stone for the piston. How much cobblestone? Well, I did some quick maths. We need 60,000. I didn't think I'd ever say this, but we're gonna make a cobblestone farm. Pretty much all cobblestone farms rely on TNT dupers to work, which means they rely on slime blocks. I don't have any slime blocks, and I think it's gonna take far too long to get slime blocks, so I thought it was pretty screwed. I searched YouTube for a slimeless design, but I've been playing Minecraft for 10 years. I've never seen a duper without slime. There's no way this works. Next, on top of this piston, now back on this side, you want to place, and as you can see, it works, so anytime- What? That works! While this alternative TNT dispenser helped a ton, there were still components of the cobblestone farm that used slime. So I had to redesign everything to fit my needs. Okay, I have spent about three hours in this testing world, and I think I got a design that works without slime. But first, I need quite a few resources. Stone, wood, quartz, sand, and obsidian. This farm is designed by Omenko. He's like the goat of designing farms. So if you ever need a cobblestone farm, check him out. It was actually really fun trying to figure out how the farm worked and modifying it like I did. Look at that. TNT is duping. You've, I bet you've never seen TNT duper that doesn't use slime. That's so cool. Sorry, it's like 12 o'clock at night right now and I can't be super loud, but I think it works. Oh, um, it definitely does not work. Oh my gosh, it definitely does not work. Oh my gosh, it's gonna pop up all my items. This is what you get when you try to modify a farm design, I guess. Well, you know what this is? This is a problem for rec rap in the future. I gotta go to bed. It's one o'clock in the morning. Please don't blow yourself up. Oh my gosh. The next morning I logged on and turned off the machine, but I had no idea what went wrong. My guess was that the system was just clogged up. So maybe if I start it again, 
Yes! Now I need to build the collection system, which means I need some hoppers and chests. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. This is so fun. And, and we're making really good progress. Remember, everything that you see here, the iron farm, the stone farm, it's all so we can make enough pistons and observers to make a giant automatic melon farm. Next thing on the list is a ton of redstone, but I want fortune three first. I'm sorry, villager, but it's time to wake up. Wake up. We need to do some trading in the middle of the night. Are you just going to refuse to... Okay, never mind, never mind, villager, you can go back to sleep. Get some rest. I'll, I'll trade with you in the morning. Fortune one. Do I take it? Fortune two. Fortune three. Yes. <gasps> no, the TNT thing, bro. <laughs> it blew up my chest that had the cobblestone. Unfortunate, but I fixed it up and added some extra safety measures. On day 26, we have started the farm up again, and I am now going to go mine for some redstone. I need 78 stacks? Did I do the math right? I think this is a monumental occasion. First time we've had to craft up blocks to save space. That's pretty good. Three and a bit stacks of iron, four stacks of redstone block, which does get us the piston I've been talking about for a while, but the melon farm design I wanna do uses a ton of observers as well, which use quartz. So that's next on the list. This bit of grind was actually a bit sketchy. I wanted to speed bridge and be as quick as possible because I don't wanna waste any time during these hundred days. But if I mess my speed bridge up even once, that's like an hour of time down the drain. Fortunately, I didn't fall off, but right before I left the nether, <laughs> get hot Taurus while trying to get quartz. Look at all of the loot I gathered in two days, I think. Oh, uh, this might be possible. But at this point, I've played 10 hours, which means I should already have 300,000 melons. Should we take a look? We have 10,000. I haven't farmed melons in like 10 days. Bum, ba -da -bum. We're on day 30. Okay, we have about a thousand observers, like eight, 700 pistons. So the goal here is to be able to have a 5,000 melon farm by day 50. And I'm not sure if we can do it. So I'm gonna do a test run to see how long it takes me to plant a hundred melons. Hence why we're getting the dirt. We only need a hundred though. That should be good. Gonna buy a fresh diamond hoe, pull out the stopwatch, and here we go. First, we start off by speed bridging a line of dirt. Then another line of dirt in. Add in the water sources and plant. Place down the observers. Take a moment to admire the glorious melons. Look at that. Add in the pistons, kill the phantom, and finish with the dirt and redstone. Now repeat that whole process three more times. <laughs> And that's a hundred done. Whew. All of that took me 16 minutes, so math says it would be day 70 before we finish the farm. But we'd only have 30 days for the farm to run. I don't know if that's enough time. Genuinely. Our only solution is to also do it manually. Do it manually at the same time this is harvesting automatically. Which brings me on to another exciting point. I want to try harvesting this entire thing and see how long it takes. Oh, also, we are starting at 11,000 melons. This is without reason. My axe is gonna break. My axe is actually gonna break before we finish harvesting. No! I'm not an optimist. I just never dress for the season. And time! It took 7 minutes 39 seconds to get 13,000 melons. If we could do that continuously, we would actually get over a million melons. However, uh, the beginning of the farm is not fully grown, so I'm gonna turn my attention back to the automatic farm. We're gonna need a massive collection system, otherwise this whole thing is pointless! Get out of here! So if you can imagine with me, we're gonna have a whole bunch of rows like this stacked next to each other. What I'm thinking is we have water down here, flush them all along this way, and then some sort of collection system over here. Okay, ready? Watch this. Whew. That only took 20 minutes and two broken shovels. I'm actually really pleased with how this is turning out. We're on day 33. I call this bit the Great Melon Canal. Everything should flow this way. We'll have a storage room at that end. I think that's our first bit of melon. <laughs> and since I have so much dirt from digging out this giant hole, I'm gonna frame out the entire bottom layer. Oh, I hate phantoms. Okay, I think I've mapped out all of the cells. Each of these needs to be five layers high. Voice over wreck here. I don't need five layers. I did my math so wrong. I need 27 layers. I didn't realize what I'd just gotten myself into. I'm gonna start fleshing out the farm. It's gonna be pretty boring though, so here's a time lapse. 
Okay, I'm out of pistons and I need some more redstone. We're on day 36. You know, I've actually gotten pretty sick of mining, so I have this really cool new trick. All you gotta do is place down a block of redstone, mine it, and then you get infinite redstone. It's like glorious. It's not like five days have passed and I did a whole bunch of mining. <laughs> this is a massive joke I set up. Ah! I crafted everything up and wow, would you look at that? Another couple hours have passed. That was a really good session though. That was a lot of blocks. I'm interested to see how well the farm's doing. Ah, pretty well. We're getting somewhere. The next day, the cobblestone farm broke, so I added some obsidian in hopes that would solve it. Not sure if it did, but if it blows up, we'll know. Day 49. So close to halfway. What am I gonna do to celebrate? Make a cake? Make a present? No. I am gonna make a storage system, because, yeah, that's a problem. We are wasting melons. That is, that is forbidden. The sun is rising on day 50. We're halfway there. Whoa! I would have celebrated, but I have no time. I need to get back to farming melons. So that's what I did for the next several hours, becoming one with the pistons, observers, and redstone. Everything became a numbers game to me. I wanted to place everything as efficiently as possible. One thing I wrote in my notes is that when I needed to itch my nose, I would pause the game because I didn't want to waste time itching. I feel like the magnitude of a million really hit me here. Even though I was just building the farm, I was placing thousands of blocks while sitting in meetings, listening to podcasts, hanging out with friends. I was going melon crazy. Holy cow, we are, we're getting progress. Day 57, and I am so disorganized. <laughs> But I have a ton of resources to build more melon farm. Yo! I got really, really excited we had this many observers and pistons until I realized we need five times that amount. <laughs> and I'm on day 57. What am I doing? I, I, I don't know if I can build this. Okay, I have a new strategy to try out. One of the slowest parts with building this farm are placing the observers. My solution to that, though, is to craft a pair of diamond boots and put this... Nope this enchantment on it, Frostwalker. So, in theory, yo! This placing observer is so much quicker, oh my gosh! Thank you, Shulkercraft, for the idea. We're on day 62. We are still at 31,000 melons, okay? Now hear me out. It's an exponential function. As soon as I start picking up the melons from these chests down here, we're gonna skyrocket to that million. But I, I, still, I still have so much grind to do. I haven't even got all the wood. Guys, you would not believe how much wood I need. Also just gonna craft up a full set of uh, diamond armor for the great mining session of day 62. And great it was. It's really nice to just grind in Minecraft sometimes. Before I knew it, I was on day 71, and it was nearing midnight while I'm sitting at my computer farming melons. It is currently 1247 at night. I'm on day 71. Just ran out of redstone supplies. Look how massive this is. Look at this. Look at this constant flow of melons. That is so amazing, dude. I am so psyched. Now, a million is a lot. We're at 38,000. That's that's only because I haven't picked up all of these melons, though. We gotta actually pick them up to register them. Day 72. This is perhaps the most important day of the whole project. Because I'm about to test how quickly we're producing melons. We need to be doing at least 500 a minute. Pulling out the stopwatch right now. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, how many melons? How many melons? Okay, this is actually, this is actually looking really good. I've had like serious doubts, but there's so many melons. <laughs> Dude, please, please. Okay, we're at two, three stacks already? No shot. Three, two, one. Yo! It wasn't even a valid test because my inventory filled up. That's 800 melons a minute. What? I was actually really freaking out right before that test. I, I didn't think we could hit a million melons. I, I think we have a chance. But I still had to unclog my storage system. And I'm just going to kind of let this run because I want you to understand how many melons we're dealing with here. I spent probably 10 minutes straight crafting as fast as I could till we get to this point. I'm just stalling for words right now because it's so long. Oh. I, I hope I have like a hundred thousand at least. One hundred thousand, baby! I was on such a high that I made a brand new axe and harvested the entire manual farm. A hundred ninety-four thousand! Sure, we were on our way to that million, but we've crafted up every melon that was in here. We've totally exhausted our melon farm. I, I have tons of downtime is basically what I'm getting at. So I'm going to expand the storage system, which was definitely the right move because my storage system was starting to get clogged. I didn't think the day would come when five hoppers running at maximum capacity wouldn't be enough to collect all my melons. It, it's a great problem to have, but I just feel like I'm wasting my time placing in all these hoppers, you know? 
That is another, like, 40 chests added to the system. Oh, I also have a bit of a huge concern. I remember reading on the wiki that melons don't, like, grow at night. There is a solution, though. I can light the thing up with torches, and I think we're fine. And I can't tell you guys how long I've been waiting to do this. I just turned down the brightness a bit. Ready? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, that's so much fun. As I was placing the torches though, my melon conserving brain was like, what if this isn't true? What if you're wasting your time placing torches? So I hopped on my creative world to test it out. Slash time set night. Are you still harvesting melons? They're still growing. Okay, um, where did I read that? Melons require light level of nine or higher to grow. So like moonlight is enough to make the melons grow. Wait, what happens if I do air? They start growing again. I don't even need to worry about lighting stuff up. But I do have to worry about my manual farm. We're at a critical point in the series. We're at 195,000, but we're also at day 75. We should have 750,000 at this point. I can either expand the manual farm or expand the automatic farm. I just don't know what I should do. Like the whole time I've known what I should do. Plus there was a big problem with the manual farm. Here, let me increase my FOV. Do you see the problem? The right side of the melons are growing way faster than the left side. And that's because melons only grow if they're being loaded but since i'm spending all my time like way over there these things aren't close enough to grow so if we put a chunk loader over there in the distance the melons should continuously grow which i think would be huge for us i need some obsidian a stair boat bow pressure plate redstone torque lever and a hopper slash hopper minecart add the lever and i i think we're done i don't think it's working wait no it's working okay okay we have a chunk loader sick so I, I'm gonna start building this thing because I think that's the best use of our time. It's day 76, we are at 200,000 melons. I don't know why I sounded so enthusiastic because on day 76, we should have 760,000. Here's the predicament. Don't mind the pumpkin, it is Halloween. We have 15 days left. I need to get 600,000 melons. Math says I need to get 2,000 melons every minute for the remaining 15 days. I just tested my manual farm and it gets me almost exactly 1,000 melons a minute. I've also tested my automatic farm, but it filled up my inventory, so I don't know exactly how many melons it gets, but it's in between 800 and like 1,100. There is a chance we can get a million melons. Day 87, we're at 423. All right, I know this is wasting time, but I need to know how far along the chest we are wow okay basically zero day 88 438 day 89 450 454 wait no that's 6k behind what i need this day i farmed melons for seven hours straight not listening to music not listening to podcasts trying to farm melons as fast as possible but i tried to keep my spirits up half a million baby i should have had half a million 50 days ago oh my gosh day 95 i ran into a big problem hoppers are getting clogged up i mean it's a good problem because like we've got so many melons but yikes i probably lost a couple thousand melons but I couldn't think about that. So I crafted them all up and we were at a grand total of 611. We're gonna cut it so close. I have three days, three days to get 400 thousand melons tech actually no 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 technically it's 380,000 that sounds way better than 400,000 yo what's up guess what I'm still doing <laughs> how many do you think I'm at I'm on day 97. 97? Oh, you hopefully you're at least at 750,000. Oh, we are not that one. Oh, really? 628,000. Bro, well, there should be a lot, though, in your automatic farm. And it was on the last day that something terrible happened. No. No. It's over. F filling it's over it's flooding it's oh no this is bad we wasted melons. i fixed it up as best i could but before i knew it it was day 100 it was time to stop harvesting and get my final count okay oh, no more melons are coming in oh my gosh this is so sad this is so sad no <laughs> but look at all these chests dude i think they're oh all God. full Please they're more. like all full okay I'll be crafting melons for the next half hour. <laughs> Jared! Final melon count time! Okay, Dude, I'm so nervous. I've played 1.4 days on this world. Dude, I'm so nervous! I can't click it! Um. Go. Last hundred days, you have been working 
play. Just rip off the band-aid. No! no! <laughs> Backup plan! Backup plan! I still have the hoppers! I still have the hoppers! I can't believe it's that close. I got to 900,000. Please. Please. Sorry, Dad, I cannot answer your phone call. I have important things to do. I need to know how. How is it this close, Jaren? I'm not even gonna look at it yet. I'm not even gonna look at it yet. I am finding every freaking last melon that is in my world. Dude, why am I crashing? Dude, Jaren! My game crashed! It ran out of no this Dude, I didn't think I'd be nervous again, but like, I don't wanna <laughs> click it. Oh my god, I can't! I can't!